The collection of weapons discovered at U.S. airports is stunning. Lots of guns hidden in a PlayStation, stuffed inside a raw chicken, bags and boxes of ammo. So far this year, 6,300 guns confiscated at TSA checkpoints, a record. On track to surpass 6,600 by year's end, 10% more than last year. And nearly all were loaded. TSA Chief David Pekoski at the agency's training center in Virginia. Why does this keep happening? Well, I think the, you know, people carrying guns is much more prevalent in the United States. Most passengers tell us when we discover their, their firearm in the carry-on bag that they forgot it was there. Um, I, think, I think that all by itself is a problem, um, but clearly you cannot bring a firearm into a checkpoint. You cannot bring a firearm. Uh, onto an aircraft. The airports with the most gun confiscations, Atlanta, DFW, Houston Intercontinental, Nashville with the highest per passenger ratio, and Phoenix. The TSA screens nearly five and a half million bags every single day at 430 airports nationwide. The challenge is the same at every one, detecting every possible explosive, every knife, every gun. The TSA showed us what a gun looks like when it goes through the CT scanner. We keep it in the scanner because, you know, we don't want anyone or the person that does have it, if they do have ill intent, to grab it um, and use it in a public area. While police prosecute according to local gun laws, the TSA is now raising the federal fine up to $15,000 for bringing a gun to a checkpoint. If you're a pre-check passenger, uh, we will also revoke your pre-check privileges uh, for a period of time. As the country's proliferation of guns spreads to airports, too. Tom Costello, NBC News, Arlington, Virginia. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.